This is the most like authentic interview. I'm just like literally, who the hell are you? I don't, I don't even know. I, I'm, not, like, I'm gonna be just as cool. shocked as anyone watching this video by the answer. Outstanding. So. Um, well, sure. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. My name is Michael Servino, and yeah. I am a recovering. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, Michael Servino. I'm one of the co-founders of Beacon Fire Consulting. Uh, we work exclusively with nonprofit organizations on the design and development of online campaigns and marketing, along with websites and online communities. Um, those organizations I think that succeed the most are the ones that see this as a human conversation and provide information, provide point of view, provocative questions, request for assistance and help, and by doing that, ask their following who care fundamentally about, look, I've got a, a shared belief and I have, a, I have my point of view as someone who follows, say, the ACLU, um, but I also have my interpretation of what the ACLU means to me or what HSUS means to me, or what amnesty means to me. So that by asking me, Michael, to give my point of view, and accepting that point of view as one that might be slightly different from the organization, and applauding me when I get it on spot, and maybe re-guiding me when I get it slightly off, which the really good brands interact and will guide people who are kind of going off the reservation, you build a really loyal following of folks because they want to be your champion, and they, human beings want and appreciate that feedback. So the key to success in this kind of a campaign, is, or this kind of a campaign or discussion, is that you need to have, an, have built over time a following of people who are engaged in the conversation with you as you've gone along. So you don't build a following by launching a video and say, comment on this, or by running a contest and say, come and join in. You, you know, slowly, in a sense we call it hand-to-hand -hand combat, build an ardent following of folks who believe in your brand, who champion your brand, whatever that may be, um, and who champion your cause. And with that solid base, whom you are already within, in kind of intimate conversation with, then you begin to see whether it's contests or, you know, pass along activities, so that that grows around that core base that you, you are authentic with. I mean, I think some of the best brands that are doing this in the nonprofit sector are Amnesty and HSUS, Humane Society of the United States. Um, the ACLU does a great job of it on their blog and in their conversations. That those are five, six years of working very carefully, very slowly, trying things and failing, trying things and succeeding. But the core intention is we have a following of people who care about the values that we care about that we can be here for them to express that and one by one as much as possible engaging in that conversation. How do you find those passionate advocates, those brand advocates? How do you find those that one percent, if you will? Not to go all Occupy Wall Street on it or anything. No, no, I think I think you find it by having a message that's very clear, that's very compelling, that is a reflection of what they believe in, ultimately, that you show to them in a mirror and say you can add to this picture. We need your voice involved. You know, it's a combination of the science of search engine marketing and search engine optimization and the influence network that Twitter and Facebook have become that will guide them to your organization and then the information and, and sort of compelling story that you draw them in to say we are the right place for you to exercise your values. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I, even though I only met you moments before we started taping, this is the best blind date I've been in a long time. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> it was likely. I appreciate, I appreciate the chance to gab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.